Hello, Zots. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, friend. Give me, give me one second. You're. I must. We must have chatted at one point in the past because your audio is like at two hundred for me. Yeah. Um, uh, real quick. Uh, uh, pronouns. He him. I'm right. boring. No, that's I'm a fine. silly sister. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I, 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 I always ask. I had a feeling I, I, I was, I was remembering correctly, but I always ask. I try to always ask even oh, yeah, guests no, who yeah. I have on all the time. Oh, you're totally fine. I'm a. I'm a wobbly, so like as much as it, we still do the, the the gender thing, so it's a it's definitely okay. Oh, all right. Um, it's all good. Um, good. anyways, hi everyone. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm uh I'm Kamazots. You can call me Zots. Zots is totally fine. I'm a Mexican content creator here on Leftist Twitch, focused on rage lean marginalized voices within the left, focusing on Mexico, <laughs> Central America, South America, the Caribbean, as well as the diaspora from those countries uh all the way up through the americas as well as first nations uh issues from you know north and south america um so if that sounds like cool so if that's cool to you if that's your bag baby then come and follow me at twitch.tv backslash camazots underscore alter um you may have seen me before uh ranting and raving on uh uh from talking from from for calling uh, destiny a gusano uh, that is also where my uh, more critical fame has come from. Uh, <laughs> true, true. You are very but, famous for that. You are very, very. Yeah, uh, yeah. I made, I made it. I made it to live stream fails on that. So you know that mm -hmm. was, uh, that was the peak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see like, oh, you're the one that started that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you ever saw my video on that. I did a. Uh, I actually did a video on that topic. Um, oh, I did not. I did not. Yeah. I did not uh, see it. I'll have to go back and yeah, watch it. Was, it's. It was. Uh, it was actually. Re I think it was reacting to Xander Hall, because Xander, Xander Hall, uh, there was a whole thing uh, between Xander Hall and Graugot uh, that uh, I decided that I was going to like, I don't know. This was back when I was a little smaller. I'm, I'm moving away from ever touching on streamer drama as part of Drama Mama. I'm moving, I'm evolving Drama Mama into a bigger thing. And occasionally, I, obviously it's impossible for me to never touch, touch on streamer drama, but I just don't want to devote an entire like, segment that i'm putting a lot of effort into into streamer drama anymore so but back in the day i used to do uh streamer drama on drama mama and uh i did one uh xander hall drama mama it was like there was a fight between xander hall and grau got and uh, some of it was about that particular discourse um and yeah I'd, so i dropped some takes about it and I, I think my take was relatively reasonable which is basically that like uh I don't think that like I don't think that you can make the same claim that it's like a um like that it's it's the same as like the N word or anything like that or any other racial slur. Mm -hmm. But I do think that we can we can acknowledge that it bothers some people and uh sure. it bothers some people pretty badly and it probably could make them feel uh targeted or isolated and its literal translation is a little yikesy. So um but yeah, my, my take is not that like you I, I is basically that you shouldn't play equivalency between them, but we should also be willing to recognize that it's like a pretty pretty major sure. thing. And I said for sure. for I, for white people like myself, for people who have white skin yeah. and are identified as white. I mean, uh, like, I was uh, yeah, I ended up with I ended up uh, trying to validate what my take uh, to the sans soul, uh, which by the way, not worth my time. Um, but Sorry. anywho, um, the. Uh, the takeaway was like I admit it. I was like, yeah, I would like white people, white leftists, especially, to stop using that word because it delegitimizes like the the whole significance of it, because yeah. it makes people sure. from Cuba or from because it wasn't just it's not sure it started in Cuba, but it ended up like moving towards other Latin American uh, countries, especially yeah. those that ended up um, in like you know like like uh, 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 other Una, uh, Unidad Sur or like any like the Bolivarian like mm. union that type of thing mm -hmm. um but anyways uh, listen we're not we're not here to talk about that right? we're not we're here, here to talk about the G, the G slur drama yeah the G slur drama um but hey y'all I want to I want to first and foremost uh just preface this with I don't do blood sports, okay? Demon Mama knows this. I uh, we we ran around in initially with like the the whole Chud Logic thing, but like uh, I just can't. I, I, I don't do days. that. But I, miss, I miss so Chud, I, uh, I miss the Chud Logic days. You miss the Chud oh, Logic Chud, days. Chud Knight. <laughs> I miss Chud Knight. Oh, I miss Chud Knight. 
<laughs> why? Why do you miss Dario? Is that what it is? No, Chud Knight was just such a unique. <laughs> Chud Knight was such a unique. Like it had it had such like after work bar argument energy. It was so good. And I don't know. Maybe it was just you know. Maybe it's just not the time anymore. Maybe that. Maybe it was just a tiny window of wonder, and it and its time isn't there, and you can't recapture the magic. But I do miss Chud Knights. I do miss Chud Knights. Yeah. Um. So you're ba- I, I guess that's that's that that that's fine. To ha- that, that's a fine opinion to have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh. So yeah, so I'm not a uh, I'm not here for blood sports. I'm here to have mm-hmm. a discussion with Demon Mama because I sure. respect because I respect I respect you know it's, it's like likewise uh, likewise you know I don't uh, I wouldn't waste my time with with you know uh, approaching the subject with with you if I didn't respect you first and foremost. Appreciate that. So I do. Um, sorry, let me swallow my sandwich. Yeah, go for it. I understand. Um, <laughs> gotta get our, gotta get the food in. I eat on stream all the time. It's all good. Um, but anyway. So forgiveness. I've been wanting to have this topic. I've been. I wanted to initially set up like a stream be with uh, Lumi Ru and um, Corvide speaks mm-hmm. about uh, like forgiveness within you know like marginalized spaces or like okay. what does forgiveness mean to the left, right? Mm-hmm. Um, my and you know we can set this up a little bit because you know we, you and I are we operate on slightly different schedules or like when we do work you know we're basically streaming at around the same time so it's it's hard mm-hmm. for us to like super super engage yeah yeah but um so like my take on it is that while i understand that forgive like i feel like forgiveness is often too strong of a word when it comes to like uh allowing people who had far right or like nazi takes mm-hmm you know, like a week ago mm-hmm. into marginalized spaces, right? Mm-hmm. Um, right off the bat. And just because they engaged with a couple of debate bro streams or just because they watched a couple of ContraPoints videos, mm-hmm. that doesn't exactly scream, um, hey, you're safe to have around, mm-hmm. you know, to me. Uh, nor does it to any other people like on, you know, on in the online left or offline as well um because there's a it's very hard to you know work with because i do a lot of offline activism as well you know i have touched grass you know (laughs) as it as the as the turn of phrase goes um but uh uh yeah i just don't i i i want i'm always i've always been curious as to like you know like okay what's what's the baseline what is what does de-radicalization look like what's the forgiveness like what does it mean to forgive Um, especially within marginalized spaces, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, I, for one, and I have said this in the past, like even when, from when I first started streaming and started getting on talking with people, I've always said that when you are becoming an activist, when you are coming into spaces, you should never look to make friends. You should be coming, showing up to get work done. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are there to topple the fucking system. You are, you're there to destroy the hegemony, right? So, and if you make, and you're doing it by joining an organization, by joining a movement, you are going into a space with like-minded individuals, hopefully. And, you know, that means that you can focus your energies better. And if you make some friends along the way, that's a plus. But to go there and expect just because you all agree that capitalism sucks, Mm -hmm. that all of a sudden you guys are all friends, or all of you are just going to, you know, go home and play Smash together or whatever. Like, none yeah. of that is going to, uh, you know, you're going to be very disappointed. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, so there's a lot a lot of things that are being touched on here that I think we have some differing approaches, but maybe, maybe uh, as time goes on, you know, they won't be as different as they seemed or whatever. For me, I don't really uh, think about it in terms of, like, forgiveness necessarily. To me, forgiveness is something that can only really occur between people who have a social, like, a social connection. Um, like, forgiveness as a moral concept is irrelevant to me because i mean unless we all are agreeing on the same moral structure unless we're all like christians and we all agree that god forgives for these things or whatever then there's no way we're going to agree on what forgiveness even means um nor does it necessarily matter with regard to like uh non like 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 
I don't know, parasocial connections, I guess, which is a lot of sure. a lot of these sort of things that we see online. So I don't really I usually don't look at things in terms of forgiveness so much as, um, you know, I, I guess trust is the way that I look at it. I look at all of these things as a manner of of trust building. That's how I, yeah, approach. I feel like that's good. Yeah, I feel like that's how I approached like the SDL thing. That's how I approached. Uh, I mean, I had a big conversation with Xander Hall about uh, some controversy that happened some time ago, um, and that was the way that I approached. That's how I tend to approach most of these things because it all ends up being about who, like, like who are you trying to win the trust of, and why and how. For example, mm. I have talked about how um, people who have a lot of trans people in their audience um, are uh, somewhat uh, lucky in that they have been, for one reason or another, whatever path led them there, they have been, um, th they have won over the trust of an, an, a, a certain amount of trans people. And that's a hard thing to win over because trans people are used to having their favorite content creators turn out to be a, a transphobe the next day. A uh, great example, this is probably like people who are fans of, of uh, Harry Potter. Many trans people found Harry Potter really important. It was a huge part of a lot. Of, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of people in general, but specifically trans people were like specifically burnt pretty hard when, you know, J.K. Rowling took the turn towards transphobia. That hurts a lot of people. People start to become distrusting. Um, and so for me, it's like, hey, like if trans people are trusting you and you start to get pushback because something you said may have come off as transphobia, whether you meant it or not, whether that was what you were trying mm -hmm. to say or not. Um, consider how you approach uh, uh, solving this issue because, you know, if you don't address that trust, you people aren't going to trust you. They're going to stop trusting you. They're not going to, to bother and they're going to go their own way and you won't be able to do the advocacy that you claim to want. Um, so that's the framework that I usually look at it in. Um, and... You know, obviously, I don't believe um, I talked about this pretty extensively in my big spiritual deconstruction uh, stream that I did where I went through my experience with growing up in a far right cult and all of that. Um, and I talked about how I don't really think that like I think people say the word de-radicalize all the time, but it's basically it's kind of meaningless online. Um, because, uh, like it's not actually really de-radicalizing. I don't think that YouTubers for the most part, like in any reliable manner, de-radicalize anybody. I think that they can be a part of a process, um, that can lead to de-radicalization. Um, but, uh, usually for people to be sort of brought further left by content, they have to already have like their, their ID, their, their, indoctrinational or their indoctrinal shell cracked a little bit um if you are in the depths like i was at one point in my life of religious zealotry you cannot it will not reach you youtube videos will not reach you they will bounce off like nothing um and y chances are you will have no interest in even being involved in any of those communities if you appear in one of them it will be mostly because you're hoping to do some you know you're you're hoping to counter them or defeat them in some way um, de-radicalization is a long and grueling process of disassembling, um, ideology, like, like a, like an indoctrinated ideology. It's really hard. So I, I, I've always had a problem yeah, with people use, using that terminology. <clears throat> However, that said, I do think that YouTubers, bread tubers, streamers, blah, 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 can be very, very valuable in both inoculating people from falling into alt-right pipelines in various ways and also to um to like basically uh, acting like a people mover that people who have left uh or, or or have begun to crack out of like 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 they don't no longer believe in these things but they don't necessarily have anything to replace it that they can pop on the little people mover and they'll get lots of ideas that will prompt them to think and improve themselves as a person i think both of those things mm. are valid things that that political edutainers uh and whatnot can do Sorry, that was a bit a bit oh, long-winded, but I wanted to lay out oh, my no, views fine. on it. No, you're yeah. fine. No, I think we I think um you know, we both agree on the idea that, you know, forgiveness can only be done by those who are affected, right? So like it's not a, you know, we look at it, you know, where I as a cisgendered man, mm -hmm. you know, while I could be upset that, you know, if somebody like misgenders you, mm -hmm it would be absolutely 
abhorrent of me to say to tell you to forgive that person just because you you know on your you know what i mean and like right. tell them like oh no 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 demon mama forgives you and and then you know leave you out of the conversation entirely or to I invalidate agree. you know your thing you know what i mean but um, I, I mean so, yeah, so I, I, I don't know how frequently that happens like i mean i've seen that like i've seen that sentiment occasionally but i don't i don't know how common that is like at least i don't encounter anybody like like I mean, occasionally I've seen, like, I mean, I, I think I watched, like, I watched a little bit of some of the stuff in the SDL situation. I think there were some chatters and stuff who were being pushy like that. But I don't really, I don't really know. I mean, you you see it, you see it with, like, mainstream media and stuff like that, you know, especially in racial issues, right? Where you see, like, you know, you see, like, the allies coming in and, like, telling people how to, how they need to, like, protest you know, or whatever. Yeah. yeah or, yeah. you know, I, I do agree. Like, the tone policing kind of thing. Yeah 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 exactly and then but then so um so i guess like you know like one of the things you know that that really pisses me off and i'm not alone in this it's sure. then the the second half of that right where if it, if you know that ally which by the way stop being an ally become an accomplice uh 2021 uh but anyways um you know when that when that ally all of a sudden comes in um and tries to police your uh <laughs> your feelings on how about being upset uh that is fucking infuriate infuriating right yeah, so it's I like so. you know you know being told like you know and then all of us and, and this is this is where my contention comes into right mm -hmm. where it's like okay so let's say that all of a sudden you know, this person it has the has had their shell start to get cracked by, mm -hmm. you know, Vosh, Zan, whatever. Okay. Um, and like, you know, and they start going around. Now, two weeks ago, they were watching, you know, before, you know, they caught him in a debate and now then they were like, Oh, he this dude makes some fucking good points. Let me go to his oh. stream or whatever. Finally, you know, he's starting to wiggle his way in and then whatever. He goes, he ends up in the surf stream and then whatever finds himself sure. find that person finds themselves in like like a my stream or something okay. like that or, yeah. or another content creator of colors uh stream mm -hmm. um now if <laughs> now so this so now and this happens like this is this is not this is this is a specific um this is a specific scenario that has happened mm -hmm. um but it's not one that I can like pin to like one person because yeah. it, it happens pretty frequently and not just in my space, but in other, especially black indigenous or people of color, like content creator streams mm -hmm. where somebody and like, you know, the, the Gusano thing, you saw a lot of it as well, yeah. where, you know, people were um, coming in and trying to say like, you know, well, why are you getting so upset? you know, at me by defending this person, you know, I think it's okay for them to say the, the this word. I mean, saying the N word is tactical noob, you know, like that sort of shit. Um, so, you know, there's, you know, you can use yeah, feel, like edgy uh, humor. I know, but that, that feels a little bit like a straw man though. Like, right. Edgy, like... edgy humor, edgy humor is okay to, uh, edgy humor is, well, I mean, those people get my, my mods don't fucking play the second that anybody starts coming in there and advocating that shit. They, they, chop them like right the fuck yeah, away but i mean i don't yeah, get to play i don't get to play with my food in my stream unfortunately oh, um <laughs> or fortunately sometimes um, for me my 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 throne room is like a it was like a blood-soaked pit uh with a bunch of little glinting treasures that have been left behind of those who who dared to wander in and get torn apart but that's me that's that's no, that's, that's, that's you yeah no my I, I don't like i usually have to unban the person if i like want to engage for like yeah. a little bit of fun like i have to un and hope that they didn't leave uh but you know but you know then again i have to trust my 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 i have to trust my mods personally because you know in the grand scheme of things it's the type of uh community that i'm trying to cultivate right mm -hmm. like i'm trying to cultivate a space that is safe for uh marginalized people mm -hmm. um and so because like i because i mean there's not a whole lot of spaces where um where we are safe you know what i mean mm -hmm. like or at least feel comfortable in yeah um and then when we talk about the spaces in which we aren't okay with being in not necessarily because of the content creator um not necessarily or the performer or what have you but because of the community that they have grown because mm -hmm. of the community that they exist with and then you know it's very hard to then be like you know and then when those concerns are voiced 
then that's when the thing is like, well, you know, when is it ever going to be perfect? When is somebody ever, when are you going to be able to forgive somebody for being a Nazi? You know, mm -hmm. why don't you, you know, when are you going to, when is it ever going to be good enough to, you know, believe that, um, uh, 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 that somebody has changed? When is that line? You know? Yeah. And I mean, I think that's like I, a super difficult question, right? Because like, there's like a million a million variables like one is like well what do you mean by nazi like do you mean like a kid who hung around on 4chan um like because i think that's what a lot of people are saying like people online like and i I've, I've discovered this uh, you know as a byproduct of interacting with a lot a lot like i spend a lot of time in people's communities figure you know just i don't know i just like doing it it's like i guess it's my way of like people watching i go hang out in people's communities and 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 see people and listen to what they're saying and whatnot and um I, a lot of people when they say oh i used to be a nazi and then vosh helped me right it means that they like posted like a like a like a offensive meme on 4chan or they used to go on 4chan for like a couple months of their life and they like posted edgy memes and like up and like you know talked in in anonymous forms and that's that's about the extent of it and then but some people act like when they say but then there's like this there's this like I, I don't know if people are talking about that or if they're talking about people who were like a member of like a white nationalist gang or a neo-Nazi gang, which is a very different conversation. Um, I don't like, like, I think that's, I, like, you know, I think there's like, a, like sometimes people respond to the, the, to the member of the neo-Nazi gang when they're actually talking to the kid who posted some edgy memes on 4chan because um, they were, they were bored and, and their, their dad didn't, wasn't coming home from you know work until the weekend so yeah no so for me it's pretty much and once and like so for me from my perspective and from you know and you know, whatever i guess all i can speak of is, is on that and if anybody yeah. agrees with me so so be it but for me um whenever i talk about it it's in regards to anybody that would like to see harm or delegitimize um you know margin a marginalized person so whoever is most affected at about this right so, um, you know, anybody that would like to basically anybody that believes in sort of any sort of like supremacy, uh, thing where I, or you, or, you know, are seen less than, but it, it, like in them, like in their heart of hearts, you know, mm -hmm. until they can like actually be, you know, quote unquote, de-radicalized to the point where they're willing to become advocates, you know, um, where, they are accomplices you know what i mean where but yeah. that takes a, like you said it takes a very long time it's very energy intensive it takes a lot of self-reflection and like you know what i mean it's yeah, like it's I, like I mean, this right I, I like, see where you're like, coming from I, but i just think i think there's like a very different approach that has to be like very different approach uh from somebody who like uh who was like a member of a of a neo-nazi gang versus somebody who was like uh, an, an, an edgy shit poster on the internet who wasn't really thinking about it and was kind of just like you know trying to lash out at what they perceived to be and you know and fell into the wrong crowd of people online and then also even like there's even other categories like somebody like myself where like i grew up in again i grew up in a cult my dad was a a nazi sympathizer white supremacist and like i mean like literally he had i've said i've sold this story on chat uh, into chat many times my dad had like a, a treasure chest in his uh, in his cabinet that had a bunch of nazi memorabilia like that that sort of level of, of stereotype level stuff um and and like and so there was shit that i like picked up you know when i was like growing up around that that I, you know, challenged as I got older. And there were certain things I would even say that I advocate, especially not, not for that sort of shit. I wasn't really ever particularly um, moved by those types of arguments, but with Christianity, like, I mean, being a, a closeted, severely repre repressed trans person who grew up in a devout, devout, devoutly believing in God. Like, yeah, there was advocacy. I did at times in my life when I was a kid, mostly not online, like mostly just to other people that was homophobic um and and mm -hmm. transphobic if i had known what trans people were but i didn't i just thought that they were gay people um and like but but and i had you know and and so like those are these are all very different approaches right and like 
none of us, especially online, nobody can really know who we're talking to with each one, right? Like when somebody comes in your chat and is being sure. an edgy. Now, I agree that there's like for my community, you know, we all have our own like rules that we set and whatever. In my community, if mm. you say slurs, you're like that is strictly against the rule. No fucking slurs. But we do allow people to to be contentious and to disagree and to have questions and stuff like that in my in my community. Um, and often, you know. We even sure. allow people with pretty edgy opinions to come, um, or or what I would say, like like offensive opinions come That's in it. to to be yeah. debated, yeah, yeah, to be debated and whatever, <laughs> yeah, not just edgy. Like the rule is generally like yeah. you know you we're gonna blast you out the airlock if you're sitting in here like dropping fucking dog whistles and shit all over the place. But, see, see, I yeah. think it, I always think it's funny when we talk and like somebody in my chat just brought up like we're are we seriously questioning the definition of Nazi rather than having the conversation, um. You know, and and I feel that because <laughs> it's like because, it, you know, it comes into this thing where it's like if somebody if somebody like like two weeks ago is sitting there posting, you know, um, went around blacks, never, never relax memes. And, you know, all of a sudden they're trying to like come in here, come into like, you know, marginalized spaces and then they get offended when somebody uses somebody's talking about um uh, yeah, but uh, you're constructing it. Abolishing, uh, abolishing, abolishing the uh, abolishing whiteness. You know what sure. I mean? Sure. Yeah, that person um, sounds like a real asshole. But is that like that is person that sounds? Actually, like... Yeah, like is that a, is that like a per person that exists? Like what it sounds like is like there's this, oh, there's this absolutely I'm sure. You... Yeah, but I mean, to what degree? <laughs> like, come on, like to what degree? Like, like first of all, like uh, Zot's chat. So I mean, don't don't do the uncharitability with me. This is <laughs> go watch my channel. Fair I enough, talk about fair this. Come on, like, fair this enough, is fair uh, you know, it's like um, come on, like I'm not debating the definition of a Nazi. I think it's incredibly important. And like I don't know, maybe sure. uh, you know, I don't want I don't want to get all high and mighty here, but like you know, the uh, the fact that you're like that that like. I know. Don't I'm read talking. the chat, but yeah, it was no, no. I, but it was, I, I, it was brought I, I tried, up. You 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 re, you brought it up as the part. Of the I, I just thought I thought it was interesting because it's just like but I, like you I, can understand. I see, where... I see it. I see it in some way, and then like I see it in the other. Like and, and, like here's the thing, right? Yeah. Like and you're right. It does come down to like communities and stuff like that. And I feel well, like well, you know on. for well, one, one somebody if thing. if you're okay, go ahead. Uh, just one quick thing I wanted to touch on on that. Like, I I hope you can understand why like someone like myself where uh the 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 sort of leaving a a far right indoctrination uh, was like a deeply liberatory experience and also like i look back as though like i was locked in chains by my parents and by a cult that took advantage of me as a child and even though some of those ideas took time to get out of me um like saying that like presenting that as a real thing that people go through and then people being like oh you're just trying to d definition monger about nazis no i'm not i'm telling you a very real experience that has shaped my entire life and my entire life as a trans person as well so like this is i think this is sometimes where the crux of the conflict comes in is that there's a um i mean this happens all the time on the internet but like there's a certain fr like frivolity in the way that some people do like I'm I'm not saying that like people like cast the, the word Nazi around all over the place, but sometimes I think that there is a little bit of a a failure to identify the correct targets, and that is a problem in my opinion. If like we're if we're applying solutions for like goose stepping, uh, like goose stepping, <laughs> like you know JQers, that we're applying the same solution to them that we are to somebody who like. I don't know, just by the circumstances of their life was raised up in like an, uh, like a fundamentalist church and now is like getting out of it, but they necessarily haven't learned everything. Like that, that feels wrong to me. Like not just wrong. That just seems like a bad, ta it seems like a bad approach, right? Like it doesn't, you don't, they're not the I same, mean, the same solution isn't needed for both of those I would say, people. would you, but okay. So like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So uh -huh. wait, do you, do you think, do you think that they're, that what's, what do you think is more common? somebody being locked in chain within a cult uh -huh. or somebody who is brought up underneath the hegemony of white supremacy and being told their entire life, you know, and then having that reaffirmed by content creators on, on, like online and the media that they see. Well, I mean, and I then think developing things obviously, yeah, and then develop. Well, yeah. I mean, 
obviously the second one is going to be more common because everybody in the first category is also included in the second category, right? Like if you grow yeah. up in a, in a cult, like you are, by, by definition, you're being subjected to in a more extreme form than everyone else of that sort of thing. For example, I mean, my church was very much, it was, it was never spoken because, you know, they didn't want to sound, seem like they were racist, but there was a lot of white supremacy built into the mm -hmm. foundation of the cult that I grew up in, of the church that I was a part of. But there are a lot of people who, are, who find themselves in that situation. And I'm not saying that every person online is, there's certainly a lot of sort of like suburban uh affluenza whatever fucking teenagers who just go on the internet and don't give a shit about anything and say stupid shit but there are also a lot of people out there who uh i don't know like who who don't fit that the description of like people who so, are just being callous uh, so to so to move forward yeah, yeah. then so we can so we can so we can get off of this like so yeah. basically when like my my concern mm -hmm. are people who are ableists uh -huh. I my concern is with people who um have white supremacist views. My mm -hmm. concern is with people who have um sorry, I just got raided. Oh, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and welcome in the raid if you need to. Hey Alex, thank you for the raider or thank you for the raid. Um I'm doing a discussion with Demon Mama right now. We're talking about um forgiveness um within marginalized spaces. We might get into some uncomfortable we might get into some, some uncomfortable conversations. So if you um would like to dip out, I totally understand. You know, we can come back come back tomorrow, come back check in with me later. Um you know, just to let y'all know. Um but anyways, um uh, back to back to what we were talking about. Um you know, my biggest concern are are, are people who are ableist, people who are going to be um you know, have phobias regarding, you know, the LGBTQIA plus community mm -hmm. and, you know, and people who adhere to white supremacy. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by adhering to white supremacy are people who, you know, fail. And that for me, it's a little bit broader specifically mm -hmm. um, it, that that specific term, because I feel like because like when I talk about white supremacy, I talk about, you know, first and foremost, the idea that white the concept of whiteness even exists mm -hmm. um in so far as like you know it being something as a like it's a construct yeah, yeah the construct yeah. of it exactly yeah. it's a, and, it's a, it's a you construct know, that's you know specifically uh specifically is used to uh, create basically a nebulous uh dominance paradigm like that you can shift yeah. whenever it's convenient yeah i, I agree with you on yeah. that I, I think whiteness yeah. is, is bullshit yeah. Like I like, you know, like we try to after we engage with somebody who um, learns to get rid of their whiteness, you know, and they start, you know, getting, you know, that's that it, to me. I want to kind of I'll leave this into this. This is what I think is edgy. Right. Mm -hmm. Edgy to me is something that's challenging the status quo, something that is, you know, uh, uh, going against the grain of things. So to mm -hmm. me, I would like to see more edgy content challenging the concept of whiteness. You know what I mean? Uh, because it is something because like whiteness, especially if you are anti-capitalist, because whiteness is a, one of the pillars of maintaining capitalism. And so like if we. So if we sit here and we defend, you know, ooh, tacos, good uh, job. It's a fajita, um, yeah, they're like little oh, fajita, uh, sweet potato little... fajitas. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. they're um, delicious. I'm, I'm, but I'll, like, I'll probably uh, be eating uh, while we uh, talk. Yeah, uh, that's totally fine. Um, so when you have, when you have like, so yeah, so like, you know, for people who want to maintain like white, like the, when I talk about somebody wanting to maintain white supremacy, mm -hmm. it's anyone who's unwilling to compromise or not even compromise anyone who's unwilling to even challenge that identity, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, and so, yeah, so, you know, so that's mine a little bit further that's with me that that's without me saying classifying everybody as a quote unquote nazi right mm -hmm. because obviously there are those people who you know have implicit bias or who have who like try to do good but they still don't realizing that they're you know doing microaggressions you know what i mean yeah, like for yeah. me you know i have you know running into running into coworkers and shit saying like oh i knew you I, like i i knew you were different when once they find out that i'm mexican you yeah. know what i mean yeah. Um, so it's like, so yeah, so it's, it's, uh, like th those are, those are my biggest concerns. And when I think about mar like bridging the gap for marginalized people, um, uh, if to work or, you know, uh, to work That's alongside good. of people who may have been problematic in their pasts. Yeah. Yeah. My... Well, I think everyone's been problematic in their past. Everyone. Sure. Every, every person I, has done in one immediate way Immediate past. Does that work? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I get. But then again, <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. Yeah, I think there's concerns about that. But also, like, um, there's a problem, which is that, like, like how how do you know? Like, I mean, for all we know, like, for all for all chat knows, like, for anybody in chat who has never seen your channel, for all they know, five seconds before you came on, you could have been just dropping end bombs left and right. You know what I mean? There's a, there is a problem of of that sort of online. Like, who gets to be the arbiter of, like, what's long enough and what's not, right? And I do agree that there probably is, like, like a reasonable ballpark or a spectrum or something. Like, for example, you know, I mean, there's been I, a lot of discourse I, about I this. Can, I, can, I can tell you exactly when when we know. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> this is this is something that has been a discussion and corroborated with other, uh, you know, BIPOC content creators mm -hmm. when we do discuss things. Sure like this like you know uh is is when they when they keep saying silly shit mm -hmm. and when they push back on it when they push back on being corrected okay that's when i know that's when we know but is because you know because because it's just like it's like once again like if somebody like like you probably like i'm i'm sure you still get chuds that come in to potentially miss or the, the, I say, I suppose you, or I assume you still get chuds that come in to intentionally misgender you endlessly. It, it is. Endless. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and like you might, you, you might, you might give them the benefit of the doubt and like other content, you're like Lumi does right. Mm -hmm. Where they'll be like, th they'll give them like a second shot. Right. Mm -hmm. They'll, they'll put them on. Oh, blast. Yeah. Why I, do I'll you feel this do way? Yeah. And, you know why do you feel this way and like explain it to me and like what's your process thought process on this and blah 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 right yeah i get people that come in my my channel and tell me to go back to fucking mexico or to, and to shut the fuck up beaner yeah. okay yeah i don't discuss with that person shit careful with that on wait are you on twitch right now yeah i'm on twitch right oh, now oh wow i didn't even know you could say that on twitch okay just, um <laughs> well i'm i mean i don't know i'm mexican <laughs> all right um, sorry i just I was a little uh, i'll have to take down this one Ooh. I understand. Like, I don't, um, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting on you for for reclaiming uh for reclaiming slurs. Slurs. I myself uh, am a, am a very much a proponent, but Twitch has been very weird about this stuff lately. So I've been I had to be very well, careful. Okay. I, right. I apologize then. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, so but like so for me, mm -hmm. uh, I like so for me like I don't I don't I don't do that shit. I don't uh. Okay, I now, don't. We, right we don't. Now. We don't validate. We don't validate that stuff. We don't have the discussion. Mm -hmm. That person is just instantly yeeted. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then see, same like thing. That. Like if we somebody just did that right now, like somebody who comes in and says, "You will never be a woman," which is just literally just happened right now. That we will ban that sort of thing out because, like, that doesn't show even an interest. Like, it's not a mistake. That's pretty obviously, you know. But yeah, I agree with you. I think there are egregious examples that we can like show that are like pretty um, explicit, right? But I think like I do think that there are areas where it's not so clear you know where it's not so clear where somebody stands or i don't know like do, do you yeah, see what i, I mean think, like I, I think there are times i where think i think might, like so so you're and 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 i'll get and and i and i feel like you and i because like we because we do have you know a you know good faith with one another i can mm -hmm. i can engage with you a little bit more on some deeper concepts about this shit yeah, please do. where it's like um where it's like you know where 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 we see um we, where we see people come in and do this wild shit within our spaces mm -hmm. and you know and it's up to us to figure out what our level mm -hmm. of tolerance is going to be for these things mm -hmm. because we also have the responsibility of being you know having a platform and talking to people mm -hmm. you know um you know, we also, you know, I feel like then that kind of makes it a little bit more, um, what's the word I want to look for? We need to be a little bit more careful about letting these things go too far, you know, because I sure. mean, like, yeah. as, because like engaging with you, because at, at one, because at some point in time too, you know, um, I got to think about, you know, what's going to, you know, what are the sensibilities of my community too, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like, you know, when we, talk about some so, some things as you know um privilege mm. uh and i feel like a lot of the a lot of the pushback and a lot of the hesitation to learn f directly from marginalized voices mm -hmm. comes from a previous privilege that somebody has had 
for the longest time. And this is the first time that they're being confronted with being cis, with being, you know, having to challenge their whiteness, their, their, their identity, right? This identity that they've cultivated their entire lives. And then when that experience is challenged, their knee jerk reaction is to go back to that same toxicity that they had before engaging within these spaces. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and so for, so, you know, once again, as, us as content creators, you know, we have to figure out what's going to be more important, you know, our cultivated community and, uh, and identifying, you know, the dangers of what we're allowing to inhabit in these spaces mm -hmm. or talking to that one person, you know, uh, and waste and, you know, wasting time, you know, <laughs> in my opinion, Oh, for sure. Uh, wasting I think time. there's a sort of calculus that you have to do every time. Like, I mean, I, I do that all the time. I have random people on to debate all the time that I think would be value or valuable or entertaining or might, um, illustrate some points or, or something along those lines. Um, but, but, but yeah, I think there's a calculus that has to be done, um, for sure. Um, but I guess like, yeah, I, 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 I think that there are varying de degrees of, of like reaction, right? I think that it's natural for everyone to be a little defensive when they're challenged on things. That's basically everyone. But like, I, I don't think that like, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm hesitant to, to like sort of, um, go hard in the, uh, in the direction of like nah fuck anybody who's like struggling with with whatever or who's coming out of this environment um you know or who is you know maybe didn't come out of a far right environment but has some of these passive things and is trying to learn like i guess i i just err on the side of being a little bit more like give them a little bit more benefit of the doubt and i can understand like why people don't necessarily um mm -hmm. And I think a, I think a lot of that has to do with like what t sort of space you're cultivating with your stream or with or with your mm -hmm. um your Discord. Like for example, I've been explicit from the start that like my both my Discord and my stream are meant to be places of um safety, but also like it's like safety in the sense of like uh of like I don't know going to a go going to a a a, a, a pool with um with with lifeguards and boot and little floaties and whatever where people can have fun they're still going to be they're still going to they still got to know how to swim there's going to probably be some splashing there's a lot of other people there the lifeguards can say hey that's out of line but people can still practice and and uh and and uh, you know debate and and be contentious and explore things together um you know uh and that's sort of the purpose yeah. of my community and i i, I, I yeah in, so. in my and then and then I would say that you know in in my community the idea is all of that stuff for especially because like the main my main gear towards is trying to bridge gaps of intersectionality that happen mm -hmm. also between marginalized communities that's why I say I try to uplift voices within the marginalized community but yeah it makes sense um is because you know while there might be levels of intersectionality between you know um the trans community. And or like hell, even all the the alphabet soup that is the trans community. There's some branches. There's some levels of intersectionality, you know, that end up being parallel instead of working together. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, um, you mean like, uh, like what do you mean? Sorry, sorry. Can you just like give me an example of that? Like, 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 like you know, um, like there are there are there are conservative gays out there that like don't oh, recognize yeah, yeah, trans course. people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like that whole that whole thing cetera, where it's they're like like so like for example like people automatically assume that like latin america is unified when we are different countries entirely yeah you know like a there, there's not a, it's not a huge yeah. hegemonic monolith of mm -hmm. people you know you, there's different there's it's it's entirely different you know mm -hmm. um and so like uh 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 fuck now i forgot what i was talking about um we were Monolith. um monoliths we're gonna back here intersectionalities. Um, I, it, it, oh intersectionalities right um bridging gaps intersectionality so i want my space to be as safe for marginalized people to work together mm -hmm. and to bridge those things that they may that they may be uncomfortable with talking about right mm -hmm. one big thing now that, that we're working on is disability right mm -hmm. we're working on you know um being more 
to like talking more about, you know, like neurodivergent and physical debil disabilities and, you know, just being more okay with recognizing that those things are exist and that it's okay for them to exist. And it, they definitely need to be brought up more and talked about more. And we need Agreed. to advocate for more movements on that space and blah, 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 blah. And what does it mean and engaging in those things? And the, mm -hmm. and that type of thing is uncomfortable for a lot of people because, yeah. you know, it, it, it is like, there's still a lot of bias and bigotry when it comes to you know, uh, especially, you know, especially the physically disabled, not even the, not even like people who are able to be masked. I mean, like, mm -hmm. count, like it's not like once, twice, three times that I've heard the story of people in wheelchairs literally being pushed out of the way at a grocery store to get something off the top shelf. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like as if they are fucking furniture. Right. Yeah. You know, ne first of all, Absolutely. hey, chat, never touch, never touch a, a fucking person in a wheelchair's chair without their consent. Okay. Absolutely. They, they, they are not furniture. Um, <laughs> um, but um and so and then anybody who comes in my chat that is coming from uh a previous uh uh world of privilege mm -hmm. those are the ones that are going to get duck dunked on well first of all yeah sorry sorry chat sorry chat never trust and never trust excuse me never touch anyone without their consent thank you thank you True. for thank you for the True. correction uh <laughs> But I guess I guess that's that's right. Yeah, because disabled people are true are, are also people. Yes, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Um, but uh, uh, yeah. But so so like for me, like I feel like you know, I'd like my my space is not necessarily safe, if you will. Uh, like for people of privilege, right? People who exist within, you know, um, you know, we'll take we'll we'll take oh, like the hierarchy, right? The old cis pops. cis white previous conservative males right sure yeah um you know the anybody that comes in with there they're not going to be handled with fucking kids gloves and mm -hmm. uh, because you know if they're going to be coming into a space full of brown you know brown uh gay trans neurodivergent physically disabled people they're going to be outnumbered you know mm -hmm. and you know their voice is not going to be the one that you know and and so it's just like and 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 what what ends up happening more often than not, once those ideas are um, pushed on them, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they're made to feel quote unquote unwanted in these spaces, mm -hmm. uh, or their voice isn't being heard in these spaces, uh, all of a sudden then it's just like, oh, we're trying to gatekeep, and you know we are trying to you know uh, we're toxic for the left because we're not we're not allowing you know all perspectives to be heard and, and blah blah blah, and it's like. And in all actuality, that's not the case at all. Yeah, we are trying to um, well, actually has a specific be purpose. heard. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, and I and I feel like so, like once again, going back to like our overall topic about you know forgiveness and moving outside of forgiveness and pushing it more towards um, trust. You know how how are marginalized people supposed to trust someone who can't take criticism? on their bigoted statement from you know and and then all of it and with without like decrying us and telling us how bad and how toxic we are you understand yeah and but I mean, then but, being able to uh... go into spaces of larger more privileged content creators and then go back to that and go back and touch base and just be like ah i'm safe now i'm with my 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 my, my people you know yeah i mean i mean i guess I, I, it feels like there's a couple of different things being touched on here and I'm not, I'm, it's hard to address like each one without like specific examples we can work with and dig into. I just think that like, I, I think that there is like a uh, part of the big thing is like, and what, one of the things that I set out to do with my, my, you know, community, my, uh, my, you know, extended uh, community or whatever was that I always wanted to be very clear about what the purpose of the space is so that people can mm -hmm. understand why they're like they can decide whether it's the space for them where they can they can walk in and know what they're going to get etc cetera, etc cetera. you can't do that i mean obviously you can't do that perfectly no one can do it perfectly um mm -hmm. however um it's like you know i i think that like there are there is some truth to the idea that there are like spaces with different uh purposes and with different tolerances and whatever that don't necessarily have to like be uh, like those differences don't necessarily have to indicate um 
any like inherent difference even in philosophy necessarily just a different design for that space like for example mm -hmm. like i uh i don't i've told people many times though i think that my my discord is super super awesome if you're looking for a place where you will never encounter anyone like uh being willing to debate uh, uh some level of politics like that's it's not the place to be like you would like you should probably try and find a sep a secondary place or you should spend some time in mine and then have another one that you can go to if you're looking to just like have a quiet area with only people who are who are like you know on the same page as you and whatever and i think it's important that we have different like different space i do really think that it's important that we have different spaces like that because right like um for anybody right like i mean i'm a trans person yeah. who's like i have gained some value from being able to have places where i can safely engage in 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 a contentious discourse and you know as a result i've been able to grow very strong to the point where i can even go in into places where uh it would be unsafe for many people but it doesn't even bother me because i've gotten strong to that sort of thing i do think that's important um mm -hmm. but i think that that should be you know I think that that should be a a matter of communication within the space and and whatnot. Like, I don't know. I, I think that. So do you? So do you think? So if now let, let's 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 get a little spicy here. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people who um, critique larger communities or larger you know content creators for the communities that they cultivate? Hmm. Um, do you think that it's, I don't want to say the word. Okay. Um, do you think it's justified for the, for the pushback that a lot of them receive for, for wanting to just, you know, say like, Hey, these spaces are meant for us. You know what I'm saying? Where, um, because, you know, like you said, like, like I, I for one believe that, hmm marginalized people absolutely need their own spaces oh of course i mean i think you that know. having like oh i mean oh, oh, absolutely i mean i'm i'm you know i i i'm back from the days of of fuck discord i i had a, a line group of other trans people a little chat group of like six other trans pe trans people back when i first came out that i would chit chat in and like yeah so like old i totally believe like those things are super important having that uh like togetherness is like super super fucking important um but uh like and and also like we don't even have to be like we don't even have to be vague about it i got that pushback i made a very minor critique of uh everybody's favorite destiny um and i haven't heard the end of it for the last four months five months it's, it's just i mean I, I i'm getting people pinging me all the time that i'm being brought up all, it's ridiculous like I, the pushback i mean yeah, anybody yeah. could tell you it was absolutely I, absurd yeah like, yeah and I, that was honestly, just for me saying yeah. that like hey you repeatedly quote retweeting um trans women on twitter and saying that they are mentally ill and should be driven off the internet like repeatedly that's actually you're doing a transphobia whether whether you really mm -hmm. think you're trying to or not i don't really mm -hmm. care whether you believe it or not you are doing that thing um mm -hmm. and yeah of course the the repercussions of that has been just an endless cavalcade but um but like i don't think that that's the case for every single content creator but yeah i, I think that I, I mean today i literally i did my entire first segment was me fucking tearing into vosh you know i had a lot of critiques mm -hmm. for vosh earlier today uh but i mean i also respect vosh a lot and uh and uh have had a lot of personal good experiences with vosh so it's like one of those things where like yeah i'm totally i, I think that like it's important to critique bigger creators um and it's uh you know and and it's important to not constantly feel like you're at fear of of uh retribution for like disagreeing with somebody but yeah. i don't i don't know if there's anybody like i mean there's some people i would ca characterize as as reacting very poorly to critiques uh, but I, I don't know but i mean i don't know i guess it depends on who we're talking about right and what to what degree um sure yeah, I guess I'm like... trying to talk about it in a broader sense because, like, more often than not, when the topic of like, like trust or forgiveness or whatever, it what 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 ends up coming up is, um, you know, you see more more often than not that marginalized people are pushed, especially within these platforms. Mm -hmm. We are separated from, um, the greater conversation, right? We are. I mean, we are I separated. do agree. We, 
Yeah, I, I um, agree that that happens to a great degree. I mean, like, uh, it's it's it, I had a short sort of shocking realization the other day that like little old my channel is uh you know which i'm doing well i'm growing but like i'm nothing in comparison to some of the bigger channels out there i'm one of the biggest trans content creators in the world as far as po in the politics space like what the fuck like how is that even allowed to, how is that legal you know what i mean like what the fuck like how is my tiny channel like one of the largest politics trans like streamers in the world like that's fucking wild and like and that's kind of makes me sad because it's like okay so like if I'm if I'm pushing into like, you know, a frontier for people who look like me and who have my background um, and I'm only at like 300 views. Oh, God, like that's the a dire affairs. Like I, we're, we won't find any disagreement with me in regard to like these spaces being really hostile in general to um, to to marginalize people of all types. I really think that's that it's really bad about that. I just I, I don't know. um. I don't know how much that has to do with, like, personally, I don't know how much that has to do with necessarily forgiveness versus, like, different issues. Like, for me, the biggest issue for this is, like, I mean, it's the fact that we have a society that motherfucking hates trans people and that, uh, like, most of, most of Twitch and YouTube has, like, far-right channels basically being given kid gloves by corporate overlords um, to do horrific, disgusting nonsense and direct hatred all over the place. And I do think that there are some lefty content creators who, like, um, you know, irresponsibly make some arguments or, or perhaps are a little too quick to the gun. But I just think it, it pales in comparison to the big issue, which is that, like, right now, Steven Crowder's channel, I, I think it was reinstated, Steven Crowder's channel um, is, like, still existent on YouTube, even though mm -hmm. it is one of the most, it is a factory that churns out raw racism. Like, literally, like, does blackface, does, uh, dresses up and, and parodies, quote unquote, trans people, and like, just raw, raw discrimination. And it's still sitting there. And that means that the entire website is just like, flooded with just her, her, the most horrific people you can imagine. And like, mm. I don't know, I don't know that like lefties who are too forgiving versus not forgiving enough are really the problem there. Maybe, maybe they are, but I don't really think so. I think the bigger problem is that like, oh God, like we have a massive, we have a mass, a lot of ground to win in general. Um, and that doesn't mean that I think that people should get a free pass I, or anything along those lines. I just, I don't know. It's just my musing. I yeah, guess. I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess, like my biggest concern is always, and one of the reasons why I frame this as forgiveness is because more often than not, that's what the conversation stems from, right? It's, yeah, yeah. I it's always so. the reactionary. It's always, and I say it's reactionary because it, 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 it usually devolves into that, um, where you know when we say, um, you know, hey, this hurts us because it is a it is part of the larger system that continually seeks to hurt us you know mm -hmm. um stop it you know <laughs> yeah. and uh you know and then um and then it's and then you know instead of engaging with what we are saying we are ignored or we are talked about um as being like i said gatekeeping um you know what whatever so you, whatever it like is whatever makes this like, like are you like referring to like when people like use like terms like woke scold or whatever like yeah 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 like that sort of thing because and being told like oh nothing is ever good enough for you and that sort of thing right yeah when basically all when basically a, a lot of us especially within the left are asking is just once again if you say that you are for an egalitarian society if you mm. say that you are for you know, a a a post capitalist society in, in any in any capacity that where nobody is unequal or nobody is over somebody else or greater than anyone else, right? Mm -hmm. If you truly believe that, then you then by that token, you should be working towards that in your everyday life. And what that means is engaging mm -hmm. with and listening to 
the lived perspectives of those most affected by the system. Well, I do agree that, like, I think that listening to lived perspectives is important, but I don't think that that's the be all end all, right? Like, um... well, no, but it's definitely, but it definitely, like, but like my, but that's the thing, like, we haven't even gotten to the point yet where people are okay with talking about it. Look, we are still having conversations about literally, uh, uh, um, we're we are still having conversations that have been had in, in like the seventies mm -hmm. on on like um 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 trying to think of something specific about um trans issues or whatever like trans I, I issues know, that's for sure. like, health, like, black issues yeah. you know I mean it's you know talking about like like the thing is is like like land back you know reparations. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for, mm -hmm. for the, for the black community, right? Like these are things that we can't even begin to speak about at the yeah. volume, at a normal volume in a lot of spaces without being told that we are ultra nationalists, right? Whether we well, are, you know, here's anytime the thing, somebody, though. I, I, I think that, and I think that maybe, I, I don't know, like, I do agree that like, I mean, fuck fuck knows like uh the level of like uncharitability that's given towards like marginalized people in the in politics in general is ridiculous right like i mean uh like i don't know i could go on for an hour like an hour about um like an like hours upon hours upon hours about this fucking shit that people give me about like oh you're a transphobe because whatever con like invented reason that they've come up with because they watch 10 hours of commentary by by a certain content creator on my uh, debate I had, whatever, you know what I mean? Like that shit is all mm. over the place. But I, I think that like, I am hesitant to say that like content creators who have contentions or fights with a marginalized content creator that they personally disagree with or that they think that their rhetoric is bad or whatever is necessarily like, off limits right because like i like there's a lot of people there's specific examples i could bring up i don't really want to like drama stir but like there's there are examples of people who are just very bad representatives for their community in in like num a number of ways not even necessarily do we have to talk about whether they're a bad representative of their community but they might show up and make just horrific arguments and if that person chooses to engage and challenge someone and then they fail to present their case or they do so in a way that is um bad or whatever or maybe the thing that they're advocating for isn't so good like i think there needs to be room for people to disagree with that and i agree and i think that's true even for like like issues that are my intersectionality like i very sure. much believe that i should be able to um like that i that Shh. myself and others should be able to provide pushback to to not just people like Blair White, but even people like myself, right? Ab absolutely, absolutely. There should be there should be healthy discourse within these things, right? right. But the go to of that discourse is not to instantly further delegitimize your concern when bringing up these issues within leftist spaces. Okay, I mean that, I agree. With that's that, my but, problem. But like, do prime we... example, prime example, mm -hmm. prime example. Sure. Right. Mm. Bosch talking about land back with an okay. indigenous activist from south america uh -huh. and he opened the stream talking he talked with this person in the past before uh -huh. okay he opened his stream wearing a united states flag tank top okay. and then made a joke saying he was coming prepared for a debate for for a game of shirts versus skins so he was going to dress appropriately and then his chat went further on during the fucking stream to sit there and make fun of the of the person that he was fucking talking to, mm -hmm. calling him, calling, calling the person he was talking to a fucking waterbender because he was talking about his relation, his indigenous relation to the planet. Mm -hmm. About about the understanding of Pachimama and how like how exploitation on the planet is toxic because we need the planet to survive as much as we as much as children need their mother in order to survive. So you know and like all this shit and referring to you know the the you know the uh, uh, their and going further to discuss on his 
belief in, you know, how water has life and all this stuff. And they were making concerns. Did he stop anything to fucking to control his chat? Absolutely the fuck not. Well, did I mean, he, did, like, so like, and like, and, 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 but I mean, like, aside from that, you know, and then, for, well, and then it went out further because okay. then at, once the community was done, it was, I don't give a fuck about anybody telling me how I need to live on this land because I'm fucking here now and so on and so forth. So how is, th so when somebody who is formerly or says that they were de-radicalized or mm -hmm. says that they deserve to be in the same space as mm -hmm. marginalized people mm -hmm. coming from somebody's community where that is their pers where that is the tone where that is the pushback initially mm -hmm. on these ideas how how then are we supposed to trust well anything coming from that side like i mean i, I i'm not like i guess like i'm not like it's like for for the record, like I'm, I can't defend any individual person, but all I can say is that like, um, first of all, chats are they say all kinds of things, and like I agree that there is sometimes limits to like what should be allowed in chats, but like, like modding is complicated, and I tend to be relatively charitable even to people who I think who, whose, whose chats are really uncharitable to me because modding is fucking difficult and volunteer mods have a lot of work on their plates and content creators, like I don't even catch everything. I can't always catch what's going on in my chat. So, you know, there so, is, like, and, I think like, there's, like, like, I, I think that like, and that's just on one of the things that we're talking about here. Like, I don't really know, like, like, I don't know about the the shirt thing. Like I know that Bosch has had that that American flag shirt and has worn it a, a gajillion times back in the past. Like uh, like I, yeah, it's kind of like it's like gauche and and like probably not like a good pick. But I don't know. Like I feel like I I, I don't feel like that's necessarily. Um... If you're coming, if you're having, if you are in a contentious situation mm -hmm. about coming off of i.e black nationalism and then going head first into a conversation about indigenous land back rights and what uh -huh. that means. Yeah. And your start off of it uh -huh. is to make a joke about empire over somebody who has, who has suffered Sorry, what was the from joke that about empire. empire. Sorry. What was the joke about where empire? like using like, like, you know, I, I came here to represent the shirts versus skins. This is, you know, I came prepared. I came dressed for the occasion type thing. Do you think flaunting that, the fact you, that he was wearing the United States flag? He literally plucked it. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing the 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 joke there. To me, that just sounds like I don't know. Like it sounds like a situationally kind of like I don't know. That doesn't sound like a constructed joke or anything. It just sounds kind of like like a, a joke that bombed or something. Like I don't know. I don't. I guess I, I maybe I'm missing it. And I could just be. Uh, yeah, I don't. Again. I don't know. I like like to like like for 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 like me. That to me to that's me, a huge fucking red flag well, when and like I, and like that's the sort of shit like you know when i, I mean, think though but when I'm you say about. but here's the thing though like when you say something like um when you say like something like like opens a d debate by like repping Im empire and then like the actual thing that happened is like um the content creator wore an american flag shirt and made a joke that uh, well is, and then it was also the preceding thing that ended up happening you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, like it, but, it, then it, it then it further escalated is my is my yeah, point. But I'm but, saying like that's the tip off. Yeah. That was I, the tip I mean, off. I mean, I it feels to me like you're like you're sort of and I could be wrong. Um, it like like I could be wrong, but it, it does feel like you're being a little uncharitable. Like like and I get it. Like but like as a third party observer, as we're just sitting here sort of watching this, like I there's two ways I could take that. I could take it as like. Vosh wearing an American flag shirt in a conversation with this is an explicit is him explicitly like choosing to try and rep America or like I don't know like flex some sort of secret mask off thing or I could say okay that sounds really like like the American flag shirt is cringe to begin with but it's like okay it's just an American flag shirt which he bought originally to to wear on onto JLP's show or something like I don't know like it just sounds like the, this is the most the most possible uncharitable take on how that opened and like I I I, I, okay, wrong, I you know what but... honestly like honestly honestly, honestly demon mom I I I don't want to necessarily go further about this 
particular thing. Okay. Because I mean, you haven't you you haven't seen it. You haven't seen the video. Well, how? Um, I, I remember I, it. It's, it's a, just been a long time. Yeah. To, to my to my knowledge, it's been taken down. Other people said that it's his hundred and fiftieth. 150,000 celebration video. I don't know. I can't okay. find it anywhere. I tried looking for it because I was going to make a video about it. Um, but I was just using that as an example of a, like an in, a, like a point where it's like somebody with the live experience, uh -huh. with not only the live experience of being a marginalized person because of um, because of the expansion of the United States Empire, but then also being an activist to try to like do those things you know, um, being, you know, as, as like a, as like a point of authority. Right. So why, you know, um, so w using, using that, that situation as a specific example of show uh, as like the broad, as like the broader thing of saying like, this is why we are not safe to talk about or raise our voices to an equal level of those who have, you know, uh, uh, a certain amount of privilege. Right. Well, does that make sense? Like, because, like, more often I, than not, any time that we I hear what like, you're talking about, I just don't know that this is a great example of it personally. Like, because to me, it just seems like, like, like I don't know, like, um, Vosh, like, I, and I, I could be wrong in misremembering this, but I feel like that conversation was like kind of contentious, but like wasn't like the most like toxic thing ever. And they had some things. I don't know. It's been forever since I watched that conversation. That was with them. Um, with uh joey and and doing and doing or joey Neo, Neo, joey yeah yeah joey, Neo, joey, joey, Neo joey. yeah Neo yeah Dwenden. sorry yeah, i, I mispronounced it but yeah joey um, um which, like somebody who's you know content i've enjoyed quite a lot in, at times like um and i don't know like d i i agree that like there are like uh, like I, I again i i've had pretty extensive critiques of like how communities engage on things i've even critiqued um i've even critiqued vosh himself for like certain aspects of the community that i think they're like could be curtailed and whatever i just i don't know like um it's hard it's hard for me to say that like um i i guess i, I guess i feel like this is like we have a very broad a very broad thing here but there's there's sort of like uh, uh, there's a connection being missed somewhere along the line where we go from saying like okay yeah there's there was mistakes and errors made in this presentation there was perhaps even un like intentional or unintentional offensive things that were done but i don't to my knowledge i don't recall like any like vosh doing any like inciting any hate or even any anything like i don't think that vosh has said bad things about joey that i know of i could be wrong um but like so like that's the thing i do think there are examples of this like i think there are some content creators who are just totally incapable of having peaceful conversations with other people um and but i think that that's like i think there's a lot of like i think that's like a like a almost uh, individual problem in a lot of cases in that like i don't know like i mean i can think of some content creators who represent the the positions of marginalized people who are holy fuck levels of toxic and like people like mm -hmm. that i don't even think like even there i know for a fact because i talk to a lot of people like their own compatriots don't like engaging with them because of how toxic it is right so like toxicity mm -hmm. is a problem i agree but mm -hmm. um yeah i mean yeah. like 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 first and foremost like i wouldn't like i wouldn't feel comfortable uh -huh. even having this uh conversation like uh -huh. you and i are having right yeah. now yeah. on very other many white 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 presenting um uh 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 or hold on let's fuck that I'm not, I'm not, we're not even gonna acknowledge the fucking whiteness thing here any other fair-skinned uh right. content creators yeah i mean i can understand like that. at all yeah there there's no there's no way in hell there's like there's absolutely especially somebody who runs within the debate circuit there there's there's no way in hell because like i we would not have gotten this far this this isn't this there's yeah. no way that we would have had this conversation get to where it is right now yeah i like, mean and just... i agree with you i do think that there's like a there's i mean there is a problem of of just like i mean fragility is is definitely a problem i don't disagree with you on that i i, I don't disagree with you um i i, I think and, that and, like and, and and like here's the thing right here's the thing right this is like this is the thing that, that kind of like really kind of gets my like really fucking irritates me uh -huh. like it, it's when I see, and this isn't on you. This I'm, I'm catching a couple glimpses of your chat. People saying like, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hypersensitive or anything like that," right? 
We are talking. Yeah. I, so rule number one of just... streaming: never read the chat. Rule number one of streaming: yeah, right. never read chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just I want I want to talk to them for a second because like here's the thing, right? Yeah. I, I mean, is your chat being super demon... nice to me right now? I hope they are. I don't know. As <laughs> I hear like, they're not. Like but... like like as as like here's the thing, right? Demon Mama as a trans woman exists in a space where at any moment she could be fucking murdered. I have family that could literally be dis deported. Yeah. There are black people that could literally be shot for a fucking speeding ticket. Mm -hmm. So you want to sit there and say that marginalized people are too fucking sensitive? Yeah. When we could literally fucking die. Yeah. There are real So states. you want to sit there and be you want to sit there and say like, "Oh, I'm too sensitive. I'm too fucking thin-skinned." How about the fucking people with white privilege having large fucking spaces not being able to take a little critique when somebody calls them a fucking cracker? How about some people with who what about people with white fucking white cishet privilege not being able to take criticism when they're questioned on whether or not they support black people advocating for them fucking yeah. selves? I mean, here's the thing. I, I agree that, like, I do agree that, like, things like that is silly. Like, right? Like, I think that it's 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 very silly to make an, like, I, I hate personally the argument of, like, oh, X person is hypersensitive. I, I think that that's a really silly um, approach to make, and I try to avoid personally that. But, and I will say, chat is full of people. There are hundreds of people. There's always going to be one dumb fuck. No offense, not passing individual judgment here, <laughs> but no matter what, I'm sure right now, if I was to look at your chat, um, that there are some people saying some pretty uncharitable and horrible things. That's a downside of chat. And I agree that ex sure. egregious examples should be. Uh, they're put... just telling me to hang. They're just telling me to hang up. They're... <laughs> that's really? all they're really? telling me to hang up. Oh, and it's just like, okay. and for me, and for me, like, is and that, I'll, is, I'll talk to them I afterwards. That, but I mean, like, like, come on, guys. You know, it's uh, no, but I mean, like, this is it, like, like, like and once again and and I and I told you like well, this like, isn't like, this isn't normally the thing that I do. Well, well okay, and... but, but Zots, okay, like just to play a little bit like a small amount of devil's advocate here, like sure, sure, sure. If that's what if your chat is is to, I'm like I've been so relaxed this conversation, not even the smallest drop of spice. I've been like as chill as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I very much enjoyed this conversation with you, but if your chat is like saying like, you know, this like queer white bitch sellout like is is you know should shut up hang up on or whatever like don't you feel like maybe maybe there is some level of truth to the idea that there's like toxicity being formed in another direction like if i can't even pr provide the most mild pushback at all without like i mean it, it it's at least to the it's at least there's at least some level of like like oh okay maybe maybe there is some like maybe we're all being a little toxic here right like I sure I I I I I were actually I don't think that I think I think on one hand it's it's um oh nice give me a second I'm trying I'm trying to figure I'm trying to think of the the words to think of um Oof. oh so oh even your mods oh Zots. I know my God. Uh, okay hold on hold on hold on let me let me even try to say this. So I'm darling. Oh, so should I end this? Am I gonna? Am I unintentionally burning a bridge with your community by having a polite conversation with you? I, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me try to let me, let me, let me talk about this in a way that isn't going to, because I don't want to, because I feel what like, I like get, I said, like I, thought we, I thought I, we said and, this was not blood. I'm just confused. Yeah, this I'm isn't blood. Confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, stop, this is what stop I'm trying. Telling, to, so stop this telling is, me because I don't want to know. I'm sure there, I'm sure there are people being unfair, but but okay. I don't want to know anymore. Okay, stop so hold on, me. hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me say it like this. I. I truly think that if we are going to have more productive and civil converse conversations mm -hmm. about, you know, um, race or disability or gender, what have you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There has to be you know a understanding especially within crossed marginalized groups mm -hmm. that at times there are 
implicit biases that we bring with us even when we don't intend for them to be there oh absolutely i mean i think and i think that's true of everyone every person yeah like that's intersectionality every right every yeah. person it doesn't matter like, yeah every person yeah no person so is like that. Yeah. and yeah nobody like yeah nobody nobody is like um nobody is like clear of this in in some respect right mm -hmm. everybody has their own implicit biases whatever it is I believe that there has to be more conversations where you can say to me, like, Zots, you are, insert direct criticism here, and I can say, okay, right? Uh -huh. And then I should be able to say to you, you know, hey, this thing I feel like is a deflection of you know maybe some sort of like white fragility what have you right and then maybe if that's not a conversation and then maybe that's a conversation we can have in private or whatever and we can both grow and learn from whatever it is yeah um and i feel like you know more often than not you know especially when it comes to my chat where we don't tolerate like that like that like not saying that you went overboard i personally don't feel like you went overboard i feel like you know once again we we have we just have we you and i just disagree on, on the vosh yeah, topic so i, I that, just that's, think we slightly disagree so that's one particular context yeah I mean, so I don't know. um so like so i mean there there's that so yeah. and um you know and my 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 channels like my mods especially are huge and and i me too you know anti-vosh gang uh i know you are so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you what went, I know about this. you. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, so, so this is. Um, so I think. So I think. Yes. While both chats are can can be uncharitable, I just feel like on the one hand, you know, my community is like, hey, this person, like, like Demon Mama is doing, um, is is doing is putting up a protective guard for Vosh, who has, you know, offended. And crossed lines with multiple marginalized people, especially the black, indigenous, and people of color. And, you know, um, and then your chat is sitting there saying, like, oh, you know, we are, you know, oh, this person in his community are a bunch of fucking snowflakes. You know what I'm saying? And I think one, and, part, I think one to be fair, I think my chat had one thing that said that you were hypersensitive, which I agree is an uncharitable description. But again, people are entitled yeah. to those opinions. Yeah. And and I agree yeah. if it, if it was getting you know if these sort of things were being like out of hand, like of course I'm gonna step down. I even called out that person myself and said, "All right, listen, there's some <laughs> dumb fuck opinions in past." But I mean, I don't know. Like sure. like I again, the, the rules always don't look at chat because of because chat is a bunch of individual human beings who are all are thinking their things and trying to react to something at the same time. I recognize there can be imperfections there. Um, True. And and like like I'm glad that we we're able to discuss things. Because uh, regardless of whether uh, communities feel one way or another, but like I, 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 I wish. I think I like, like I, if we can bring it back to like initially, like I think I think to like the original topic of forgiveness and trust. I think yeah. you and I both agree overall on yeah. like the idea of it's up to what did you say? You said um, it's up to the people who are um, directly affected or impacted. Yeah. by those things to to be the ones to be to to be or to lend forgiveness right right yeah. and it's a personal it's an interpersonal thing that you can do like i mean there's there's content creators that i just have like checked out on where i'm just like nah this is like i don't want to deal with it anymore i don't want to deal with whatever thing and that's everyone's right everyone has a right to mm. to to withdraw their own support or their own viewership or um or whatever um like yeah, I mean, I think the yeah. concept of forgiveness gets distorted online because it doesn't really it doesn't really map well onto social media, um, because like a cloud of individual people all giving their hot takes via the Twitter machine can't actually give can't actually hold anyone accountable or uh, or offer forgiveness. Indiv an individual within that cloud might be able to say, okay, I've weighed the facts and I've come to this conclusion, or I've weighed the facts or whatever and I've come to this conclusion. But that crowd, that that cloud of people, of, of all kinds of different people with different stories and different opinions can never really come to one singular con consensus. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but, but... Yeah, I yeah. just, I mean, I, th I think that, you know, and then like, you know, also the agreement upon, you know, 
that marginalized people um, deserve to have, you know, isolated spaces where they can just talk and engage with each other freely without having to worry about having to explain their positions and stuff like that to people who would otherwise not be understanding and, you know, because it's a lot of work for a lot yeah. of times to exist within, you know, a, a hegemonic you know, well, I hundred percent agree. I I think that yeah. like I think that having conversations and 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 hearing out people's concerns and grievances is like unbelievably important and being able to sort that out. Um, I I I I I do think that like, um, I don't know, like I, I it's it's a very tough conversation to have, and it's hard to find the right spot because. Um, you know, I'm someone who pushes pretty hard for, for a lot of issues. Like I fight pretty fucking loud and I'm pretty aggressive about a lot of certain issues. Um, like hell, I went pretty hard on, 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 uh, even on Vosh today about the, 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 the neo pronouns video or whatever that he did today. I thought there were a lot of flaws in his argument. I was very, I was, I disassembled the shit out of that thing. Um, mm -hmm. but it was done from a, from a, at least, I don't know, in my position, it was done from a position of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, understanding and and productive, uh, you know, productivity that it's like, hey, we want to make progress here. And I, I think that like those conversations, like, like there has to be, uh, everyone is going to have to basically take a little bit of serenity and go, okay, I talked about uh, during my segment today, I talked about like the hedgehog's dilemma from Evangelion, you know, which is another, it's not just from Evangelion, but the idea of the hedgehog's dilemma and, and everybody has their own spikes and, and we, we have to come together in order to be able to make any progress, but it's hard. We all have our own backgrounds. We all have different, uh, you know, intersectional backgrounds in addition to, to, um, personal backgrounds. And, and those things often lead to poking each other unintentionally and it requires a lot of patience to be able to work together and that is a mutual process again interpersonally and uh you know on a systemic level and sometimes it sometimes it can't work out sometimes it's not uh it's not there's no compatibility to be had but i do think that it can be done and and i think sometimes that like perhaps it's the internet that does this but uh and and also just like the fact that like the stuff is really rough right now. People are hurting a lot mm -hmm. right now. I think there's a tendency for people to um, to uh, assume malice when when malice is probably not the case. Um, mm -hmm. And and um, and yeah. So I don't know. Like I'm not again. I I'm not here to defend uh, uh, Vosh. I mean, in a specific situation, my you know I have questions about your thoughts on it and i share my thoughts on it and maybe we disagree mm -hmm. maybe we agree mm -hmm. but i'm not really here to mm -hmm. defend vosh if vosh is a big boy he can defend yeah, himself. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, I'm, um, and i'm not here i'm not really here to like even talk about him essentially i just wanted to use him as an example of yeah. like just I mean, like I, of I, like I think you that know vosh is fucked up a lot i just also like if we're gonna you know if we want to talk about vosh like i think vosh is fucked up a lot i mean f fuck i've had a lot of harsh words for vosh on certain subjects but i also think i mean I think that Vosh as a person is like, like he's been incredibly supportive to myself and other creators um, and stuff like that. So I don't know, like, I don't know that it's as, I don't know. It's as simple as, as like, like, I don't, I, I, I am hesitant to conclude hell. Like I'm even hesitant to conclude with, and I know I'm this way. I'm a bit weird like this, but I'm, I would, I've been hesitant even to conclude shit with, with destiny who I think is a way, way, way more malicious actor personally than somebody like Vosh. Um, with regards to how he engages online, but I've been willing to extend charitability in the idea that like, you know, maybe his idea ideology is the problem. And this isn't like a, like, he's not like a deeply hateful person. It's just that his ideology has led him to come to certain conclusions and give him certain blind spots. Um, but yeah, I recognize there's only so much you can do of that. There's only, there's a limit that everyone has to how much charitability they're willing to grant. And, you know, we have different conclusions as to where that will be. I just... I recognize that some of these issues are very, very complicated. There has been an incredible amount of disinformation around m many of the issues that we talk about every day in leftist spaces. And so there's a lot of people who are coming into the conversation uh, often malinformed, as in they have been taught things that are false and they don't even know that they're false yet. And if that's the case, if that's the playing field, um, you know, 
we can usually it's usually I, for me i conclude that you know having a little bit more patience uh or or a lot of patience i should say is 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 a good path for the most part but i do think that there are people who um are super super bad faith actors or or super super questionable and i can understand if people don't really feel like extending that level of charitability yeah yeah uh i feel like i feel like maybe you and i if if you want to if you want like my, my dms are always open and if you ever yeah, have a chance time that you want to like chit chat more about stuff like that i feel like that would probably be um i feel like that would be good i think for both of us honestly because there's like because there's there's insight like, there's a reason and i and and to, to my homies here there's a reason why i am talking with demon mama is that. because out of anyone who uh that interacts within the sphere that they interact with they're a voice that i fucking that that i would like to talk with because once like give 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 this the give this the benefit of the doubt or whatever the fuck you want to give this the points that it needs where it's just like i would not be able to engage like she has not raised her voice once to me not talked over me she has listened like these are things that would never have happened on mind waves dario whatever any of the fucking mayo six none of this would have fucking happened on like whatever these are things that these are things that's a name that, i haven't heard in a while these are these are things that never would have happened with any other you know debate streamer right yeah. and the and any further conversations that we need to be that i need to have with demon mama or that she needs to have with me mm. about whatever it may be we can discuss those things and maybe those things aren't warranted to be discussed in a public space like this where we aren't articulate where we can't articulate them in a way that won't bring contention between our communities yeah i would i would because hope not. i mean there's always going to be some right some people are going to yeah yeah it's yeah. inevitable yeah, yeah, that yeah. some people will like and i mean so obviously like, and, and they're entitled like, yeah. to that right like i mean people are entitled to have their own opinions about the content that 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 is put out there in public i mean it's kind of why we put it out is for people to muse on it and some people are going to get frustrated about it but let's keep it reasonable everybody like you know let's keep it sure. cool yeah yeah and yeah. uh and like i don't know like likewise you know zots like we've always had we've had a a a ton of really good conversations and over over the what like year and a half that we've both i don't know how i don't mm. actually know how long you've been streaming exactly but i've been streaming for like a year and a half yeah and yeah and, like uh, I, i'm coming up i'm coming up on like yeah like two years or something like 18 months or something like that so. yeah yeah hell yeah fuck yeah all right um, i don't know yeah. um i think i think we're gonna get as far as we can right yeah, now absolutely. so i'm going to i'm gonna dip thanks for having me on thanks for giving me the minute and you got uh, it anytime you let me know i'll we'll talk, talk to you i'll talk to you later homie absolutely have a great night have a great night thoughts yep bye 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 for now. Yeah, how do I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you can just hit the little hang up. All right, well, that was it. That was a that was a very interesting. That was a very good conversation. Look, I like I like talking to Zots. Um, we have some disagreements on things, but uh, nothing um, nothing even close to uh, irreconcilable. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh,